of man. I don't know, Mr. Simmons. I, I think you better talk to him from out here. I said to open up. Go on, wait out there. Boy, you know who I am? I know who you are. You're Gabe Simmons. Mr. Simmons will do. Now, you know that I'm the man that put up the $5,000 reward that put you in here? Oh, I know that, Mr. Simmons. I've just been praying to the good Lord every night that I get a chance to pay you back. <laughs> well, now, I admire a man with spirit. No hard feelings, Jimmy. But when a man comes into my territory, into my town... I know it's your town, Mr. Simmons. I didn't know you bought the whole country. When a man comes into my territory robbing my banks, well, that's bad for business, Jimmy. And what's bad for business is bad business for me. Now, do you understand? You wake me up in the middle of the night to tell me that I'm bad for your business, Mr. Simmons? You've been an enemy, boy, an enemy of the people. Now, how would you like to wipe the slate clean? Do something for the people. I'm doing something for the people. I'm giving them the pleasure seeing me hang. Well, do this thing, and maybe the people in their gratitude won't want that pleasure. <laughs> now, how would you like to have a retrial, Jimmy? How would you like to have a jury, my jury, bring in a verdict of innocent this time? <laughs> now, boy, I'm offering you your life back. Jimmy, how many men you killed? Oh, I don't know. Six, seven, maybe. Ten, eleven, maybe? Mm, that I could remember. Mm. Well, then you wouldn't mind killing one more, would you? Oh, I'd be obliged, but uh, under the circumstances, I think that takes undoing. Well, we'd release you to do the job. You see, you'd have a perfect alibi, Jimmy. He was sitting here in the jailhouse, waiting to get hanged while the murder was committed. Settle for the whiskey. Town's been full up since early this morning. Big day tomorrow. Will Oakley's coming home. 
How far is Hazleton? Oh, about a good three hours. If you've got a bedroll, why don't you pick a nice soft spot outside of town and sack down? Start fresh in the morning. Not a bad idea. How much? Half a dollar. The sign says 10 cents. Supply and demand. Tomorrow's a holiday. Everything's gone up. Why don't you come back tomorrow for the big parade? Don't know that I can afford it. I had a good, good night for you, dear horse. <laughs> oh, that last night, the night before, sing by my little horse. And a few drinks. And a night before. I want it. I want it. I want it. Oh, Paul. Come on, Paul. I'm all right. Oh, let me help. Come on. I said I was. Oh. Oh, see, look what you've done. Oh, lie there all night for all I care. Find yourself a hole and bury yourself. Vera. Oh, Paul. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Looking animal. Yeah. <laughs> now, Jimmy, stay out of sight until it's time, here. Yeah? Go on now, move out now. Go on. Yeah. Shoot, men. I'll go quietly. <laughs> Gabe, you old son of a gun. Yeah. Now, Will, you still know how to ride a horse? Still spot you 50 yards and wind up looking back at you. 
Well, now, I'm going to call you Bluff, Will. I brought a horse out for you. Boy, bring that animal out. Ooh. Which one of his legs is busted? <laughs> <laughs> now, the mayor says, the mayor says it's undignified for a United States congressman to ride horseback. That's the way I rode out 18 years ago. That's what I told the man. Oh, uh, Will, uh, them things on the side of the horse, they're called stirrups. You're supposed to put your feet in them. <laughs> uh, old fella, you want me to help you up on that horse? Now, look at him. Boy, he's in pretty good shape for an old fella. <laughs> uh, now I'm home. Not yet you ain't, Will. Have a cigar. Well, that does complete the picture, all right. Good seeing you, Gabe. Good seeing you too, Will. Thought there might be, well, a little residue of hard feelings. You mean because of that bill that you've been trying to get through? I understand you were interested in that acreage. Well, that's a thousand acres of oil-rich land. Anybody be interested, Will. It's government property, Gabe. It'd be a crime to sell it to you at any price, much less for what you're offering. Well, you can't blame a man for trying, now, can you? After I introduce my bill and after it passes, you won't be able to touch that land at any price, no matter how hard you try. Now, Will, I'll fight you with everything I got. But if that bill gets passed... Well, look, now, let me put it this way. What is a million dollars or so against our friendship? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Will. Will, I promise you, whoever he is, wherever he goes, we'll find him and make him pay. Now, driver, you take the congressman back into town. night, a little ways back. What's your name? Heath Barkley. Let me see your rifle. <laughs> now, where are you from? Stockton. What's this all about? I'll ask the questions. You see, you spent all last night camping here, huh? That's right. Doesn't smell like it's been fired recently. Sure ain't the horse we saw, neither. Killer could have got rid of the gun, changed horses. Killer? You think we're out riding for exercise, boy? About an hour ago, somebody shot and killed Congressman Will Oakley. Riding the black and white Pinto. I saw the man you're looking for a little while ago. Well, did you now? You saw the man that killed Will Oakley? Saw a fellow named Jimmy Sweetwater riding a black and white Pinto. Uh, who? Jimmy Sweetwater. Hey, Gabe, he's drunk. Take it easy, yeah, yeah, Dan. but Gabe, look, I mean, Take he's crazy. Easy, I had to kill. Oh, boy. How do you know that the man that you saw was Jimmy Sweetwater? It was him. I've tangled with him before. <laughs> now, son, you made a mistake. Don't run it into the ground. Jimmy Sweetwater's in our jail, has been for the past three weeks. 
Well, I don't know what kind of jail you got, but I'd check it again. All right. Well, that maybe got a point. Maybe he broke jail. Which way was he heading? Back towards town. <laughs> well, now, that makes very good sense, doesn't it? Jimmy broke out of the jail, found him a horse somewhere, and then instead of running for the border, stops long enough to shoot and kill Will Oakley, and then heads back to Pinewood and to the jailhouse. <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, Dollar, get you ten. When we get back into town, we're going to find that he's escaped right back into that cell. <laughs> <laughs> well, boy, we don't have anything to hold you on, not yet. But there'll be other posses forming. Some official, some not so official. You tell that crazy story about seeing Jimmy Sweetwater to them. Well, maybe their sense of humor is not as sharp as ours. Boy, I believe it'll be in your best interests if we don't ever set eyes on you again. Come on, Sheriff, move out. to join the posse? Posse? Our marshal's rounding up a posse, help out the one in Pinewood. Find the man killed Will Oakley. Nick Barkley checked in. Oh. This arrived this morning. He's going to be late. Oh, oh, oh Josh sprung a right over the minute it got here. Like I was saying, old Josh sprung a right over. Always tip him a dime. Worth it, don't you think? Like your room now? As soon as I get my horse stable. Boys, I want to thank you, but I won't be needing you now. I just got a wire from Pinewood saying that they caught the fellow that shot Will Oakley dead. Who done it, Marshal? Oh, some fellow named Matt Carson. Marshal, this Matt Carson, do you know what he looks like? I never laid eyes on him. They told me he's some kind of an old drunk. It's a rotten thing when some drunken clown can... <laughs> Tired of being nice to you, Matt. Now, we know you did it, and we know why. But I didn't, I swear. Matt, a dozen people saw you. Saw me? Saw your horse. Now, that was your horse, wasn't it? My horse? A black and white pinto. And this rifle, the murder weapon, this is yours too now, isn't it? Mine? It's got your initials carved right in the stock. Now, that is your mark, is it not? Oh, come on, man. Make it easy on yourself. Get it off your conscience. We don't need it. We got plenty of evidence. But for your own sake, confess. Now, man, I could beat it out of you. That's what everybody's expecting. But why make it hard on yourself? Come on, man. You can beat me. You can kill me, but that's not going to change anything. I didn't murder Will Oakley. How they're treating you, man. No complaint. There won't be any either, I promise you. You know I keep my promises. And Matt, I came here to help you, protect you, see that justice is done. 
Matt, I want you to tell us everything. I want you to tell us everything that happened. I don't remember. I just don't remember. You mean it was all kind of uh, hazy? Yes, that, that's it. Well, we can understand that, can't we, Sheriff? I mean, you've been planning this thing for such a long time. I've been planning? To kill Will Oakley. No. Now, Matt, I heard you threaten Will myself. Well, that was just... I drank. Too much, maybe. Everyone knows how I drink. When I drink, oh, maybe I brag a little. You see, Will Oakley did me dirt once. It's in a business deal. But that was years ago. Yeah, it was years ago, Matt, but you ain't never forgotten it, have you? Especially since Will Oakley went on to become a United States congressman, and you, well, we all know what happened to you, don't we, Matt? Now, you had the motive, you had the rifle, and you had the horse. I didn't kill him, I swear. You swear you don't remember killing him. I mean, it was all hazy. That's what you swear to, and that's what we believe, don't we, Sheriff? Yes, we do, Matt. I mean, you were drinking. You were drunk. You can't recall your actions. You can't recall taking your rifle. No. Loading it. No, no. Riding up to the ridge and waiting. Waiting for Will Oakley to make himself a good target. Now, I mean, you knew. You knew that we planned to stop the stagecoach. No. You knew it. Everybody in town knew it, and you knew it best of all. Now, now Maddie, you just... You just can't seem to remember. Sheriff, I thought we decided that we, uh, we were going to help Matt to remember. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's right. Read it, Matt. Maybe to help you to remember. Yeah, I wrote it out for you. Just the way I figured it happened. The only way it could happen. Now, if there's anything you want corrected in there, the sheriff would be glad to oblige. Now, wouldn't you, Sheriff? If not, just go ahead and sign it. On the morning of October 16, I, Matthew Carson, he can full control. I'm sorry. I'll read it for you. Being in full control of my senses and fast, fast su faculties. Yeah, that's right, faculties. I did lay in ambush and did finally deliver the fatal shots which killed Congressman Willard Oakley. No. No. No, I don't know. Hold it, Sheriff. Now, he's right, Sheriff. No, Matt, believe me, I had no part in writing that confession. Now, you should be ashamed of yourself, Dan. You know better do a stupid thing like that. Hand me that paper. Thank you. Go on and get me a pen. And some ink. Now then, in full control of my senses and faculty. Well, that's it. There it is. That's the lie. He was drunk. He did it. He did it while he was dead drunk. Drunk out of his mind. Isn't that right, Matt? Drunk? Yes. Yes, I was drunk. But I'd... Crazy drunk. Don't you see, Matt? It's a defense. You didn't know what you were doing. You are not responsible for your actions. Yes, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's Now, that's shame it. on you, Sheriff. The Lord said, vengeance is mine. Well, he staked out that territory for himself. Here, all we hope to see is that justice is done. Justice isn't hanging a man who kills while he's under the influence of alcohol. It's unfortunate. But it sure as heck ain't murder. There now. Matt, I don't think there's anything in there that you can't sign. Matt, 
what I did was I crossed out the words in uh, full control of my senses and faculties. And I wrote, while under the paralyzing effect of intoxicating beverages. Now you can sign that, Matt. Matt, a whole battery of Philadelphia lawyers couldn't give you a better defense than I'd just give you. Go on and sign it. Oh, Sheriff. Sheriff, why don't you give something, uh, something for Matt to lean on? Like, like that, that Bible over there, that Bible that you just find. Sign it, huh? About my seeing Jimmy Sweetwater this morning. I thought we laid that goose to rest, boy. Well, I thought so, too. But you had to come back here and make certain, didn't you? Could it be? No, it's crazy. Still in all. Sheriff, when was the last time you checked back there? Checked? The cell block to see whether Jimmy was still there. Not since early morning, I'll bet. And surely not since then. We did have other more important things on our mind, didn't we? Like running down the man that killed Will Oakley. Well, now, that's out the way. Maybe we owe it to ourselves to see whether our Jimmy boy has flown the coop. Dan? Come on, boy. Hey, Jimmy. Is that the man you saw? Go on, try the door. Daniel here may have forgot to lock it. How about the window? Jimmy, you've been flying out of there and then flying right back in? <laughs> <laughs> now, boy, I asked you a question. Is that the man you saw? He sure looks like him. But I don't see any wings, so Jimmy sure as heck didn't fly out of here. Leaving just one possibility. Like what? Like maybe I ought to have my eyes checked. <laughs> now you send me the bill. You come out of your way to serve the cause of justice, and I appreciate that. About a week or so ago, I thought I saw an old aunt of mine been dead and buried five years now. Mine plays funny tricks. Eyes go along with it. Maybe seeing ain't believing. I said maybe I ought to have my eyes checked. But even if I was certified stone blind, I'd still swear it wasn't him. serving anything till after the funeral. Fair enough. How about some of that coffee? Hey, weren't you in here the other day? Yeah, I took your advice. Camped outside of town. 
Yeah, there was going to be a big parade, all kinds of doings. This place would have been busting with business. Well, I'd have sold more whiskey in two hours. No, that's not the important thing. Will Oakley was a great man. He'd have been even greater, except for a stupid old man with a grudge. They'll hang Matt Carson for what he did, but that won't make things even. This Matt Carson, does he have a family? Yeah, just his daughter. You can't blame her for Matt, and I feel sorry for her. She's going to be awful lonely out there alone. Where's that? Oh, Carson Place, by the bridge. That's out on the North Road, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's right. How much for the coffee? Oh, it's on the house today. You're not thinking of going out there, are you? What? I don't advise it. It might look like you were being friendly. And this town won't take to that. Thanks for the coffee. <laughs> I just want to talk to you about your father. It's important. May I come in? My name's Heath Barkley. Uh, look, you just you don't want to talk to me. You just say the word and I'll go now, you hear? Tell you something else about that soup. You uh, offer me a plateful, I won't say no. But it tastes even better than it smells. I'm sorry there's nothing to go with it. My father, he was going to bring back a loaf of bread. I usually bake my own. The past few days, I, I've been so busy at the store. I work over at the general store for Mr. Crowder. Well, we've been taking inventory and... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just babbling on while my father... That's all right. I still can't believe it. Pa murderer. Anything else. Every day I expect to hear that he fell down a mine shaft or fell off his horse and broke his neck or walked into a burning building and didn't even feel the heat until it was too late. Anything else. If you tell me he, he drowned in his own glass of whiskey, I'd believe it. But that he'd take a rifle, lie in ambush to murder Will Oakley? Oh, no. To anyone who knows my father, no. They say your father had a grudge against Will Oakley. My father had a grudge against the world. Before my mother died, he, he blamed her for all his troubles. If only he hadn't been tied down with a wife and a daughter, he could have gone out and licked the world. Somewhere years ago, he, he just took the wrong turn in life, and he's been blaming others for it ever since. But Mr. Barkley, he's not a murderer. They say the man who did it was riding your father's horse. I don't doubt that. Used your father's rifle? Probably. Ma'am, that's mighty powerful evidence. Is it? There are at least three dozen people around here that could tell you how easy it would be to steal my father's horse and his rifle. 
In fact, half the time, he's so drunk he could steal his pants without him knowing it. Well, if it's any comfort, I think he's innocent, too. Too? You're a stranger here. You've never even met my father. I've seen him a couple of times. And despite all the evidence, you know he's innocent. Well, there's more to it than that. I didn't say I knew he was innocent. You're working for him. Him? Him. Mr. Gabe Simmons. You know who I'm talking about. He sent you here. Nobody sent me here. Well, if he did, you can go back and you can tell him that whatever I know, there's nothing I can prove. I was at work when it happened. I can't prove that my father wasn't up there waiting to kill Will Oakley. I can't prove he didn't fire those shots. And if I could, I don't think I'd try. So if you're working for Gabe Simmons, you can get out of here right now. And you can tell him he's safe. I'd be glad to tell Mr. Simmons all that. Except right now, we're not exactly on speaking terms. What have you got to do with all this? I was just passing through. Well, you shouldn't have stopped. And if you're smart, you won't go back there. Even to help your father? Especially to help my father. He's been dead for years. Hanging's only going to make it official. Look, there's not much I can do, but my brother's a lawyer. I thought I'd wire him from Hazleton. Maybe he can help. I'm sorry. I know I sound callous. It's just that I've waited on him hand and foot. I've washed him. I've fed him as though he were an infant, and it's true. When he dies, I'm free. I'd like you to go now. Mr. Barkley? There's nothing you can do. You your lawyer brother, nothing anyone can do. Gabe Simmons is king here. And if the king wills my father dead, he'll hang. People like Gabe Simmons get their way. And when it's done, when he's dead, maybe I'll begin to live. Advice too good, do you, boy? We don't appreciate a stranger coming in our town and meddling in our affairs. Let's get out of here. Dirty. I'll get a doctor. No. But you're hurt. I'll be all right. Now you know what happens to little people. Look, you've tried. You've done as much as anyone can do. Will you go home now and forget us? But you'll die. They'll kill you like they killed Will Oakley. Or they'll hang you like they're going to hang my father. Or they'll beat you to death. But you'll die. I'm his daughter. I should know. He's not worth it. He's not worth it. 
Get your horse. You're coming back with us. I don't think so. You defying the law? This isn't your territory. Maybe you better talk to the marshal here. Maybe I'd better. Barkley! Barkley. Why don't you take another step? Marshal? Marshal! Yeah! You better have a good reason for busting in here this time of night. That man is my prisoner, Marshal. Well, he ain't going nowhere. What's he done? He killed Will Oakley. Well, I thought you had the man that done it, this Matt Carson. Well, we were half right. Everything pointed to him and still does. It was his gun, his horse. Well, how does he figure into it? His name is Heath Barkley. Yeah, that's right. It's one of the Stockton Barclays. They got a whole lot of land that might be up for grabs if Will Oakley's bill had been passed. Well, that's a pretty good motive, Gabe, but wouldn't that be true for you, too? Yes. Except for the fact that Will Oakley was the best friend I had in this world, and that he died in my arms. But don't you take my word for it. We got it straight from the horse's mouth, right from the man that Barclay paid to do his killing for him. Matt Carson. Simmons, you really had to dig to come up with this. Matt confessed. And he named this man. Simmons, you're a liar. Matt Carson didn't kill Will Oakley. And he couldn't have named me because I never met the man. Ask him, Marshal. Ask Matt Carson. Well, that'd be kind of hard to do, seeing as how Matt hung himself in his cell five minutes after he signed that confession. Oh, what'd you do? Did you come back take another look? He won't be here long, Jimmy. No, sir. We're gonna hang him for killing Will Oakley. <laughs> That's the best laugh I've had in years. Well, you better enjoy it while you can, Jimmy. Because it's going to wind up with a laugh on you. Yeah? Well, what's that supposed to mean? I saw you near that ridge the morning Will Oakley was killed. From that, it doesn't take much figuring to know who killed him. What kind of deal did they offer you, Jimmy? Will Oakley's life or your freedom? <laughs> what's the matter with you? You been drinking or something? You know, they can't possibly set you free. Once I tell my story in court, how they let you out of this jail to kill Will Oakley, they're stuck. They can't let you walk out of here after that without it looking like I told the exact truth. So if I hang, you'll hang right beside me. Kinda looks like we're in this together. I'm afraid that's the truth, boy. We were going to talk to you about it in the morning, but maybe it's just as well we tell you now. There's been a slight change in plan. Is that a fact? Yeah, that's a fact, boy. That's a fact we all got to live with if we want to live. Yeah, he's right. You ain't going to give me no retrial. Stay right where you are. Oh, boy, there ain't going to be no retrial. But you still can get your freedom. Now, I'm not going to fool with you, Jimmy. 
Once that boy back there starts in the talking, once they suspect that you killed Will Oakley, well, you won't be free for very long, not with half the U.S. Army looking for you. Well, why don't you keep him from talking like he did Matt Carson? Too many suicides, too many accidents, no. No, Jimmy, but if uh, Barkley is shot and killed while he's trying to escape... All right. It's just like you said, we're in this together. Now, they may hang us. We may break out of here. But we're going to do it together. Right, partner? Now, let you and I go. Trust him along, man. Hey, how was you worrying then now? I'm just honored enough to live. Tell that marshal what happened. Oh. Boy, you better hurry up and get him. but some other time. Well, a little bit late, aren't you? Well, I can explain that. Now, bit. don't tell me you didn't get my telegram. Well, I got your telegram. I man. said I'd be here last night, didn't I? That's right, Nick. And you that this gonna... morning you and I would be on a train <laughs> heading for San Francisco. Yeah, we were To attend go... a very important meeting, which was to start, oh, about a half hour ago. You missed it, huh? Yes, we missed it. And I don't want this to come as a complete shock to you, Heath. But at least I had the foresight to telegraph ahead that we may be a little bit late. Well, that's real good thinking, Nick. But we... you didn't think of it, did you? Just like you never thought of leaving a message in the desk inside. I thought of leaving word in there, Nick. But, but you got tied up. Or should I say, maybe you got tied down. Well, now I hope she was worth it. It was a girl, wasn't it? 
Nope, you see, when I rode into Pinewood, well, the hotel was filled up. So then I went over... What was it, Heath? You know something, Nick? You're right. It was a girl. I think you better talk to him from out here. I said to open up. Go on, wait out there. Boy, you know who I am? I know who you are. You're Gabe Simmons. Mm -hmm. Mr. Simmons will do. Now, you know that I'm the man that put up the $5,000 reward that put you in here? Oh, I know that, Mr. Simmons. I've just been praying to the good Lord every night that I get a chance to pay you back. <laughs> well, now, I admire a man with spirit. No hard feelings, Jimmy. But when a man comes into my territory, into my town... I know it's your town, Mr. Simmons. I didn't know you bought the whole country. When a man comes into my territory robbing my banks, well, that's bad for business, Jimmy. And what's bad for business is bad business for me. Now, do you understand? You wake me up in the middle of the night to tell me that I'm bad for your business, Mr. Simmons? You've been an enemy, boy, an enemy of the people. Now, how would you like to wipe the slate clean? Do something for the people. I'm doing something for the people. I'm giving them the pleasure of seeing me hang. Well, do this thing, and maybe the people in their gratitude won't want that pleasure. Now, how would you like to have a retrial, Jimmy? How would you like to have a jury, my jury, bring in a verdict of innocent this time? <laughs> now, boy, I'm offering you your life back. Jimmy, how many men you killed? Oh, I don't know. Six, seven, maybe. Ten, eleven, maybe? Mm, that I could remember. Mm. Well, then you wouldn't mind killing one more, would you? Oh, I'd be obliged, but uh, under the circumstances, I think that takes some doing. Well, we'd release you to do the job. You see, you'd have a perfect alibi, Jim. He was sitting here in the jailhouse, waiting to get hanged while the murder was committed.
enough, man. I don't know, Mr. Simmons. I, I think you better talk to him from out here. I said to open up. Go on, wait out there. Boy, you know who I am? I know who you are. You're Gabe Simmons. Mr. Simmons will do. Now, you know that I'm the man that put up the $5,000 reward that put you in here? Oh, I know that, Mr. Simmons. I've just been praying to the good Lord every night that I get a chance to pay you back. <laughs> well, now, I admire a man with spirit. No hard feelings, Jimmy. But when a man comes into my territory, into my town... I know it's your town, Mr. Simmons. I didn't know you bought the whole country. When a man comes into my territory robbing my banks, well, that's bad for business, Jimmy. And what's bad for business is bad business for me. Now, do you understand? You wake me up in the middle of the night to tell me that I'm bad for your business, Mr. Simmons? You've been an enemy, boy, an enemy of the people. Now, how would you like to wipe the slate clean? Do something for the people. I'm doing something for the people. I'm giving them the pleasure of seeing me hang. Well, do this thing, and maybe the people in their gratitude won't want that pleasure. <laughs> now, how would you like to have a retrial, Jimmy? How would you like to have a jury, my jury, bring in a verdict of innocent this time? <laughs> now, boy, I'm offering you your life back. Jimmy, how many men you killed? Oh, I don't know. Six, seven, maybe. Ten, eleven, maybe? Mm, that I could remember. Mm. Well, then you wouldn't mind killing one more, would you? Oh, I'd be obliged, but uh, under the circumstances, I think that takes some doing. Well, we'd release you to do the job. You see, you'd have a perfect alibi, Jim. He was sitting here in the jailhouse, waiting to get hanged while the murder was committed. Settle for the whiskey. Town's been full up since early this morning. 
Big day tomorrow. Will Oakley's coming home. How far is Hazleton? Oh, about a good three hours. If you've got a bedroll, why don't you pick a nice soft spot outside of town and sack down? Start fresh in the morning. Not a bad idea. How much? Half a dollar. The sign says 10 cents. Supply and demand. Tomorrow's a holiday. Everything's gone up. Why don't you come?